hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy kindly like my videos if they are helping you in your learning now i am going to continue with this sample problem right so it's the continuation of the previous uh, video right so in the previous video we have located the centroid of uh, this given curve by considering this uh, vertical differential element right so now what we will do is that we will consider this horizontal differential element and we will solve we will find the uh, x bar and y bar coordinates of the centroid of this area under the curve right and the function of this profile is x equals to ky cube right so the statement of this simple problem is that locate the centroid of the area under the curve x equals to ky cube from x equal to 0 to x equals a right but this time we will solve this problem by considering this horizontal differential element right in the previous video we found that the area this particular area is equal to 3 divided by 4 a b right so i will give the link of that previous video in the description you people can go and can learn that how we determine that the area of this uh, uh, area under the curve is equals to 3 divided by 4 a b right so in, in this particular uh, video i am not going to find this area right so the area is equal to 3 divided by 4 a b this dimension of the strip is a minus x we can say that this whole distance is a this uh, edge is at a distance of x so then this length is a minus x right and the width of this differential element is dy right and this differential element is located at a distance of y from the x-axis is right now to find the x bar and y bar what we will do is that we will apply the principle of moments equation right so first i will find the x bar right so for x bar we can write that x bar into a will be equal to integration right xc into da right so as we know that xc is the distance of the centroid of the differential element from the y axis is right so as we know that if if this is the differential element so we can say that the differential element the centroid of the differential element is located somewhere here right so if this distance of the centroid from the y axis is, will be equal to xc right so first we have to find this xc so if the length of uh, if this length if this dimension of the differential element is a minus x so then we can say that this uh, centroid will be located at a distance of a this will be a minus x divided by 2 right so from the origin the centroid would be located at a distance of x plus a minus x divided by 2 so we can say that this xc this xc is equal to x plus a minus x divided by 2 right this is the location of the centroid of the differential element from the y axis is right so this is uh, we can we can write it like this so this will be x plus this will be 2x plus a minus x so from this we can write that this is uh, this will be a plus x right so we can write that a plus x divided by 2 right so xc is a plus x divided by 2 so now in this equation we know xc right so xc is a plus x divided by 2 and we know that the differential area is equal to so the differential area will be this length multiplied by width right so i can let me write it here right so da is equal to a minus x into dy right so if i write it here so then da is a minus x dy and is the integration is with respect to y so the y uh, range is from 0 to b right so the maximum value of y can be b right so it, we need to integrate it from 0 to b right since we will move this differential element we will add all the differential elements along the y right so from 0 to b so this is uh, 0 to b and if we we know that a plus x into a minus x will be equal to a square minus x square divided by 2 this is from 0 to b this is dy 
So since the integration is with respect to y, so we have to write x as a function of y, <coughs> right? So if I take 1 divided by 2 common, so we are left with a square minus x square, right? So we can write that a square minus x square, this will be equal to, since we are given the equation of this profile, this curve, right, which is equal to x equals to k y cube, right? So I can write this as a square minus k y cube square. So this is equal to a square minus k square y to the power 6. And as we know that <coughs> x equals to k y cube, so from this equation we can write that k equals to x divided by y cube. And as we know that when x equals to a, y equals to b, right? So I can write that k when x equals to a, y equals to b, right? So k equals to a divided by b cube. So we can write it here as well. So this will be a square. And we can write that k is a divided by b cube. And this is square. This is y6, right? So this is a square. And this will be minus a square divided by b cube. This will be b3 into 2, right? So this is b6. b to the power 6 and this is y to the power 6, right? So now this is equal to a square minus x square, right? So I will replace a square minus x square by this, right? Since the integration is with respect to y, right? So this is 1 divided by 2. This is a square minus a square divided by b6 dy. And I can take a square common, right? From this term and that a is a uh, constant. So we can take that out of the integral. So I will write that this is a square. So this will be 1 minus 1 divided by b6, right? And this is again from 0 to b. So if we integrate this, so this will be a square divided by 2. So this will be, we can write that this will be y, right? 1 dy will be y and this will be, and here the, we have that y6, remember this y6, right? So this was a square y6, right? So this is minus, and if we integrate this, so this will be y6 plus 1, 7 divided by 7 b6, right? And the limits are from 0 to b, right? So this is a square divided by 2. And if we put these limits, so this will be b minus b7 divided by 7b6, right? So this b6 will cancel out and we will be left with only 1b, right? So this is b6, b7. So we will be only left with 1b, right? And so this is b minus b divided by 7. So we can take b common. So we can write it as a square b. So this will be 1 minus 1 divided by 7. So 1 minus 1 divided by 7. So we can take 7 as LCM. So this will be 7. So this will be 6 divided by 7, right? So I can write that this is 6 divided by 7, right? So this will cancel out. So this is 3 divided by 7. So we can write that this is equal to 3 divided by 7 a square b, right? So now this, this is equal to this thing, right? So we can write that x bar a into a and a is this thing right so we can write that a is 3 divided by 4 a b this is equal to 3 divided by 7 a square b so a 1 a will cancel out b will cancel out and 3 will also cancel out so we will be left with x divided by 4 and this is 1 divided by 7 a or we can write that this is 4 divided by 7 a right so this is the x coordinate of the centroid of this given area under the curve now to find the y coordinate of the centroid we will again apply the principle of moment so this time i will write y bar into a and this will be y c d a right and this will be from 0 to b right and yc is the distance of the centroid of the differential element from the x-axis is right so what does that mean so again uh, this is the centroid of this differential element so the distance of this centroid from the x-axis is will be so this will be the distance right so we call this distance as yc right so in this particular case this yc will be equal to y right 
so yc equals to y so we can write that this yc equals to y and da is again that same da right so we can write that da is uh, a minus x into dy right so i will write that this is a minus x into dy right so since the integration is again with respect to y so we have to replace x as a function of y so x equals to ky cube so i will write this as from 0 to b i can multiply this uh, y inside right so this will be a y minus x into y and x equals to ky cube so i will replace this x so this will be ky cube into this so this 3 plus 1 will become y to the power 4 and this will be dy right and again we know that k equals to a divided by b cube so i will write that this is 0 to b and this is a divided by b cube into y to the power 4 dy so this will be equal to so if i integrate this so this will be a y square divided by 2 and this will be minus a divided by b cube y to the power 5 divided by 5 right and this will be from 0 to b so this will be equal to so this will be a b square divided by 2 minus a divided by b cube and this will be b to the power 5 divided by 5 let me write that this is 5b cube right so this cube will cancel out so we will be left with b square right here so this is b to the power 5 so this will be b square so i can take a b square common right so we can take a b square common so we will be left with 1 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 5 so this will give us 3 divided by 10 right so i can write that this is 3 divided by 10 right so this will be 3 divided by 10 a b square and as we know that this is y and area is 3 divided by 4 a b right this is 3 divided by 4 a b so as we know that this this 3 will cancel out a will cancel out 1 b will cancel out so we are left with y bar which is equal to 4 divided by 10 b or we can write that this is 2 divided by 5 b right so we got that the same y coordinate of the centroid for this area under this given curve right so this is the second method that you people can apply to find the x and y coordinates of this given area under this curve